Hi. Welcome. Thank you for coming, being here with me today. Um, I wanted to address that we've all been given a gift, and I wanted to address, are you using it wisely? Um, many of you are still worried going through this COVID experience. Um, you're still fearful over your job, your finances, your health. Maybe you're uh, worried for a loved one going through something. This has touched each and every one of us in some way, shape, or form. Um, hi, Andrew. Many of you are still stressed out. Maybe um, you're more stressed out than when it first started maybe you're more stressed out now exhausted you're working from home you've got the kids you're trying to balance everything maybe you're just simply going stir crazy and those four walls are coming in on you um whatever it it is lacking the social contact with people um sometimes just the idea of not being able to do something is worse than actually the not doing it. Um, I know different medical tests that I've had in the past, I couldn't eat. That was all I thought about. And when it was over, I was so starved and going, going through the whole thing. That's all I could think about was how hungry I was. But on the flip side of that, I've been with people and I haven't eaten either just because I just thought that I would do it with them or whatever, but they couldn't eat because they were going through a medical test. Now, while they were doing it, I knew we were going to eat afterwards, and, and I don't know. It just it wasn't that I couldn't eat. I'd made that choice, and you know, I'd spent my time reading a book or a magazine or whatever while they were having the test, and I noticed that when I'm done, when they were done, I wasn't, I wasn't hungry and starved, but that's all they were talking about. So sometimes it's the idea more than it is the actual, the idea that we can't do something more than it is the actual not doing something. Um, anyway, some of you have been listening to me on my Facebook business page, Foundational Transformations, and I have a, a private group there called Calm Chaos and Keep Balance. So some of you are in that group and listening to me there. I thought I would reach out a little farther today and see if I can um, help a few more of you. I'm offering free coaching sessions, so I will give you the information on how to get that at the end of this video. And it is in my uh, private group, but it's easy to get a hold of me. Um, what I want to address today is most of us are finding ourselves bored with too much time or busy, not enough time to ourself. And some of us hasn't really changed that you have an essential job. Um, one of those three categories is what most of us are finding ourselves in. It's found ourselves with more time during the day one way or the other, no matter which one of those three categories you're in. Um, so what I'm curious is, how are you using your extra time? Um, if, you know, if you're not visiting with friends or you're not commuting to your job or whatever it is, what are you using that extra time for? In some of my other videos, I've touched on, you know, taking 15 minutes out that you would normally be in the car and cleaning a drawer out. I've talked last week with the upcoming Easter as to feel actually feeling your feelings and I'll get in a little bit deeper on that today but how are you using your time are you relaxing are you thinking are you using any of that time to meditate um, meditation comes in many many forms some of us meditate and never even knew we were doing it but um like I said, in order to be able to release a feeling, you must first feel it and go through it. 
So it's possible that you can do that in even just 15 minutes. Taking 15 minutes of, a, of your day to just be, be still, be quiet, be relaxed. Like I said a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago, meditation comes in many, many forms. You can be listening to a guided meditation. You can be just listening to the radio. Um, many, many things. You could be just sitting outside. A little wet and cold today, but it's, it's many forms that meditation comes in. There's a lot of positive things that come from when we're being still and quiet we're able to learn and connect <laughs> thanks hi chris um it allows us to learn and connect with ourselves learn from ourselves connect with that which is greater whatever that might be for you um it's those moments when we're quiet and still that we can actually feel our feelings, that they are allowed to come up to the surface. And maybe, you know, it can be uncomfortable sometimes. Maybe that's why we all, many of us, stay so busy all the time. It is extremely easy to avoid your feelings when you don't have a free moment. So when you don't allow yourself the time to just do nothing, and I'm not talking about watching TV and doing nothing, but I mean doing nothing, just sitting, just sitting outside and breathing, just taking a hot bath and just breathing, just having that still and quiet time. And this pandemic has basically requested that we stop what we're doing and listen. So why not start with us? Nothing ever really leaves or goes away until we've learned what we were supposed to learn from it. I believe I saw that on a Facebook post, but I've also heard it spoken other times too. Um, and it's very true when you look through history. So I'm just suggesting that why not take a little bit of this time to learn and listen to yourself and to your body again. Your bodies know exactly what you need emotionally and physically and what to do about it at all the time at all times. We've just become experts at not listening and we've been conditioned since early toddlers to not listen to ourselves and the inner voice that we all have. Um think back, remember that child who could dance and danced like they didn't care who was watching um watch the animals their behavior isn't always couth um every moment that we're around them but it's natural and they don't care who's watching um some of the things some of the many things that we've learned along the way have been very good so don't get me wrong there it's been very good very appropriate but some of it hasn't served us well either. And where's that balance? That's the parts that I want to address. And right now, most of us are safe at home with really nowhere to go. Like I said, unless you're an essential worker, we're not, um, we're not out there visiting and being social like we used to. So, you know, you might not have had the time before now, but now you've been given it. And there's no better time to learn to talk and listen and learn from yourself again. This is a gift we've all been given, and the gift of time. Time is the only resource that I know of that's really not renewable. Um but we've had a chance that it's slowed down for us. It's slowed down and slowed way down in many ways for us. Hi, Paula. Hi, B. Um, I know, thanks for joining me today. 
I know that what I'm talking about might sound scary and some of you for the first time, um, it can be very uncomfortable and very scary f learning how to feel your feelings and feel into them. And believe me, I know because I used to be the master at hiding my thoughts and feelings. I either, I would hide them until I either blew up or broke down. I thought I was a master at uh, controlling them, but I wasn't controlling them. I was hiding them. Um, that's a very, hi Linda. That's a very unhealthy cycle to be in and it does more harm than good emotionally and physically. So I, what I really want to encourage and invite you to start noticing and journaling about is how different moments during each day make you feel. The conversations you have, the songs you hear, um, the shows you watch, the books or article you read, and why they make you angry, why they make you um, anxious or sad. What about them makes you feel, what about them makes you laugh? What about them makes you feel um, happy or giddy or warm and fuzzy? Uh, we don't always have time to connect with ourselves, but you've all been given some time now. So please use it wisely and invest even, even just 10 minutes, 15 minutes to check in and acknowledge what's going on so you can start releasing your feelings and no longer hang on to those unhealthy emotions which can lead to unhealthy behaviors. Um, a few ways to do that is to just sit in silence, be still, be with yourself. Find that each day, each week. Hi, Jan. Find that each day and each week. Observe those experiences throughout your day and get in touch with them and your feelings. Why? why it makes you feel the way you do. Pay, pay, just pay attention to them and jot them down. Do a journal. I've talked in several of my other videos about a gratitude journal. I cannot stress enough how important a gratitude, hi Tony, how important a gratitude journal is. Um, but along with that write down what you noticed about the different things that you experienced and why why it was that it made you feel that way and you'll notice that after you do that it kind of kind of goes away and then you start recognizing it when it happens the next time and you know that it won't always stay that way you're able to feel it and let it go um Power down hour is excellent. It's an excellent time to do your journaling from the day is um, get away from the TV an hour before you go to bed. It also helps you sleep better because you're away from that blue light. Um, same with your phone or, or your screens. It keeps your mind going and uh, doesn't... doesn't let you get as good of a night's sleep as you would have. Hi, Jody. Hi, Courtney. Um, get out and move. Move your body. Have a, a cold and rainy day like today. Have a dance party. Put some music on. Cook some supper. And dance while you're in the kitchen. Um, you can't dance and be unhappy at the same time. It's usually... You're not moving if you're unhappy. So do that. That brings some light and some different perspectives. And in this time where we can't hug and get that oxytocin, reach out. Reach out through FaceTime. Reach out through Zoom. Um, reach out the old-fashioned way with the phone. And... Talk to somebody. Share your feelings with them. Get them out, but don't hang on to them. So um, 
like I said, I would share with you, I promised earlier, I would share with you how to get my free coaching. It's one hour sessions that I'm giving away. Um, go to my Facebook page, Foundational Transformations, and join my group, Calm Chaos, Keep the Balance. And um, there you will find my email and can email me for a application for a free coaching consultation help you overcome your fears get you through this um, anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes sometimes it's just 30 minutes that somebody needs some brainstorming so uh, those walls those four walls can come in on us and how do we keep keep going here so let me all know um thanks for joining me today and in, and have a thrilling thursday let's thrive not just survive see you later guys hi charlie talk to you later bye bye